Good morning, guys. I'm vlogging today. I haven't done it in a hot minute. I thought I would throw one in once a week, once every other week, something like that, just, you know, to get things done. I'm gonna let you tell you, my house is a complete disaster. And we have been working on projects all weekend. And my husband's home, he's had a few extra days off work. Work is a little slow in the Twin Cities for commercial carpentry, so he's had a few extra days off. <laughs> um, they don't have a place to send him. He has been working on um, a project for the better part of two years, and that just finished up. So they're looking for a spot for him. So hopefully they have a place for him to go soon, right? So, um, but I'm putting a little damper on, you know, stuff that, <laughs> like, schedules are changing and it's just been chaotic, as I'm sure it is for all of you guys as well. So he's been working in the garage and we've been trying to get other things done and working on projects, but look at my house. Oh, it doesn't look as bad on camera there. I still have all of my decor over there from like a week ago and then I've got laundry to do. Allie was painting on a table last night. She got paint all over the place. I was working on my planning. It looks like she moved my planning. I had it here. I was working on my planning before I took my shower this morning and had my coffee. I use my board mug every single day. Um, so yeah, I've got to get some cleaning up. My fall decor is still sitting there. I have done nothing with my fall decor since my hutch and I just need to get moving. So, but first, before I can do that, I need to clean my house. I have so many projects that I've been working on, but none of them are like for one video. They're for several videos that are coming throughout the month and the weather is changing. It was, what was it, hot last weekend and this, this week it's going to be, we're having highs in the low 50s. <laughs> so pretty soon we're gonna have to turn the heat on. I don't wanna. <laughs> I've been enjoying having the windows open so much lately. <sighs> but I don't know. I have to get work done. Um, I've already made my bed and tidied up the bathroom. I didn't do a deep clean. I just did a quick clean and definitely need to get this house whipped into shape. So come along with me. recently well, grabbed this cookie crock. Um, I never hauled it because um, I started using it right away because I used my utensil holder on my hutch to hold some flowers. Well, the house is awake and I've got the dishes done. The kitchen's not completely clean because everybody's out in it. <laughs> but Allie, these are the pants she painted last night that were all over my table. That's where the white paint come from. She painted little sunflowers all the way around and let's see your butt Allie <laughs> look at her pockets isn't that cute <laughs> she got she got this like fabric medium for for uh well fabric <laughs> she, is. she really likes her pants she's not gonna talk because she's being shy <laughs> you're just not having it are you you're just not. Oh, sure. <laughs> he doesn't like being leaned back. Mm. He's so fat, Mom. <laughs> he 
It's vibrating. <laughs> Sorry if you hear my son's class. Um, there's a teacher talking in the bathroom background. Uh, he's in class. My son is in class right now. But uh, I am getting ready to make some pulled pork. I picked this one up at Aldi. Um, it's half pork loin. Um, and I'm going to put it in the Instant Pot, but I'm going to use it as a slow cooker. Um, I just want it to cook all day and smell it all day. <laughs> Otherwise, it takes about 15 minutes per pound. And this is three and a half pounds. So that would take like an hour in the slow cooker. Anyway, so um, I'm going to put it on low and just cook it low and slow in the slow or in the instant pot. I'm, we're going to have some homemade mac and cheese with it and we have some steak rolls that I get at Walmart. Um, because some of us will put the pork, the pulled pork on a sandwich and some of us will put it on our mac and cheese Panera bread style. So um, that's what I'm going to do now. As you can see, I don't really measure anything. I just kind of throw it in. <laughs> what oh, didn't you have a new toy? What you have, buddy? Are you gonna whip it? Oh, you're just gonna sit down and start chewing on it right away. He's not supposed to whip it in the house. Anymore. I know. What you got? What you got? Show mama what you got. Oh, you have a new toy. <laughs> we go through these probably one a month. He will have it chewed down so it's each individual knot and then he'll get like five knots that we throw around in the yard <laughs> but first we got to work on breaking those knots off huh buddy i'm so excited <laughs> okay so gabe has thrown a monkey wrench into the plans well i just went to walmart with him <laughs> um i needed some paint rollers to finish well to start painting up in the entryway i'm going to start painting my entryway soon and I needed rollers to prime and paint. So, just ran and grabbed that, grabbed some things for my son, and, oh, there he goes. Oh, he stopped. You can do it, Odin. There he goes. <laughs> what you got, Odin? You got your toy. Have you got your toy? <laughs> All right, that's enough. Good boy. So I still have my laundry to put away in the kitchen and um, a whole bunch. The day is going, you guys, and it's it's. I've got a lot done, yes, but I was hoping to get more done. So I need to keep going. It is 1.45 already. D dinner's in the crock pot, so that's nice. I actually have some sewing I want to do. I want to make a table runner for my table. I might do that next. After the okay, so I decided to come sit down in my craft room and try to free my brain a little bit. I've been struggling this year, you guys. I'm not sure what's going on with just my head being everywhere. 
and I'm not exactly sure why. I don't know if it's the pandemic, but it, it's, I'm finding it really hard to focus. Um, just in a straight line. I just can't seem to think in a straight line lately, and I just don't know why. So um, I have a feeling, like even with my chores, I can't seem like I have been doing my routines and stuff for so long I can't seem to get them down and to uh just stay on top of them and even if I'm just cleaning the kitchen I end up cleaning all the rooms and I've never been that way in my life so I ordered another planner <laughs> because I you know I love Okay, so this is what I started the year with. This is just my personal planner from personalplanner.com. And I love this planner. I've been using this planner for a lot of years. And um, so, you know, here's my September. But then in the middle, when, do, when was it? When did I just start this planner? Maybe March or something? I decided to try bullet journaling and I really I've learned a lot with the bullet journaling of especially ways of taking notes that make sense to me and how to get them on a page and threading in a notebook oh my gosh that was life-changing and I am the type of person that has I have appointments that are six months out everybody has dentist appointments right but I also like pre-plan a bunch of different things especially here on YouTube not six months out but sometimes <laughs> sometimes and you'd put that in your future log right well the future log doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me it's not how my brain works I need to see it all on a page like if I would write down an appointment I need to see it in its graph form the calendar right in order for it to make sense in my brain so this really isn't working for me however i am going to keep using it as my notebook this is my border bananas notebook where i do all my video stuff i am going to keep it like that and just use it as a notebook like a bullet journal notebook and not actually have calendars in it all video notes brain dumps you know um I write down my every item I get for my Fun Finds Friday and which Fun Find Friday it was and the date, that kind of thing, so I can reference back to it. There are things in this notebook that I am that I love to do. Okay, for example, this is August, and this is what I do. I'll write down all my videos um, and the ones that I want to do, and I will go through and mark them off here. And at the top is um, the little letter letters mean record, edit, upload, description box, links, thumbnails, mail, like for email, comments, and social media. And if I do all that, then I mark them all off. I don't always have mail, like emails to write. Those are usually just for collabs or sponsored, not spy, I don't do sponsored videos, but like um, affiliate videos. I do, do I do affiliate videos? No, I don't do affiliate videos, videos, but sometimes I do get like products for free once in a great while. And um, I will have to email, you know, the video link and that kind of thing to uh, the person that say personal planner has sent, sent me a planner, right? So, and that kind of thing. And I do do that every month. So in my regular planner from the beginning of the year it looked like this and I did it in the back of my planner because in the back of personal planner you get like what is it 24 or 48 pages and you can do like grid um, I do the squares there's graph paper and then there's also um, like the dot squares so in an effort to combine all of this with the exception of this just being a notebook for like video ideas and stuff, I decided to um, move forward with 2021 and get that going because I don't, I don't waste at all. I don't, I will still be using these two for the rest of the year. But for 2021, I did this one. Um, I, with Personal Planner, you get to create your own covers and so for i 2021 i did dream do and then it says 2021 down here and on the back it says triumph 
I'm hoping you're getting the colors correctly. It looks really dark to me. So what if I hold it back there? Is that better? Yeah. So dream, do, and on the back it says triumph. And then oh, I have some stickers in here because I was working in February already. All right, and then you get a page on, um, the first page is always like some personal information. Contact this person if you, this you find this or whatever. All right, then I'm gonna go straight to February because I have some personal dates in January. Um, but this year, to even simplify <laughs> next year even more, I decided to go ahead and add in everybody's birth date um, and personal planner will automatically put that in your planner every single year and it'll tell you how old they're turning on their birthday. I added in anniversaries, birthdays, all that jazz and it ends up looking like this. Um, it's I'm showing you February but it's showing you I'm going to show you January 27th right here and it's just this tiny little spot there. I'm hoping you can see that. And for birthdays, they have little tiny balloons. And then for anniversaries, they have right here, um, little tiny hearts. So, um, so that saves up some brain space right there, not having to remember and transfer th those over. And then I went ahead and I'm going to mark my dinners here because I had a page and there's actually 31 lines right here. So there's some extras. Um, for February, uh, so I did I did write dinners, but now, for a day with 31 days, um, you won't be able to write dinners up here. You'll have to use that top line. The weeks are where I changed it up quite a bit. So I am a list maker, so I chose a uh, week on one page, and then if there's, I believe there's three layouts you can choose from where the second page is just blank, and you can get grid, square, dot grid, and then you can also get like lists and stuff like that on the second page of the week. Okay, so and this is what I went with. I went with a week, I went with a week on one page, and um, I went with the vertical because I am a list maker. And then on the second page, I went with just the dot square. Up top, this heading part is called wedding and that's completely customizable as well. And you can also customize it if you want your week to start on Sunday, you can have it start on Sunday or you have it start on Monday, start on Monday. I always have mine start on Monday, which my husband thinks is weird, but that's the way my brain works. So that's what I did. Okay, and so on the second page is, um, of, okay, so it'll open it up and it'll look like this. Let's see. And on the second page, I just chose the dot grid and I'm going to put my videos list that I showed you right there. Then I'm gonna have a to-do list right here. And then I have, I'm gonna have all this extra space on the bottom for notes, um, brain dump, whatever. And down here, I also have an extra little list. There's an extra little spot right here. And then I chose down here, if I want to, I can transfer the dinners for the week and then a, a motivational quote. Then in the back, I chose to have just a few pages laid out like this. I think there's four pages from January. And it's, what is it called? A year at a glance, I think it's called. And all the way through. And I've gone in already and added in, this is where I'm gonna lay out my videos for the month. And then I think what I'm going to do is use a, a red pen at the bottom of my calendar days. Uh, let's see. So I'll just put it at the very bottom of each of my calendar days that I have a video going for YouTube videos. So I'll be able to see them spread out on the month and I'll be able to coordinate doctor's appointments with my videos or when I, you know, because if I have a bit big video with a deadline coming up. I don't want to have a doctor's appointment the day before because it's usually crunch time, right? So that's my plan for 2021. Uh, Personal Planner is giving away a, an e-gift card. I already have it for one of my viewers. That's you guys. If you would like a Personal Planner, leave me a comment down below on what you would like to get organized in your planner and how you would like to get your brain organized in your planner. Um, and I will enter you in with a, and I'll grab a random comment picker and um, pick a winner. Also, they're giving me a coupon code for you guys that is good until September 30th. 
and it is SUMMER IS HERE, all caps, no spaces, for 15% off. So use that code for 15% off and you will be golden if you would just like to go ahead and order. Mm -hmm.